Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you guys are here. If this is your first time to my channel, I want to welcome you. I hope you enjoy your stay and you want to come back for more videos. If you do, click that subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it. That'll give you notifications of when I upload new videos and welcome back to all my returning friends. I am so glad you guys are here. Today I am going to share with you how I crochet an edge around this cute little blanket. I was asked in a video a couple weeks back um, in a comment section of how I actually crochet the edge around that. So I am going to show you how I did this and I've made quite a few of them over here. I'm going to grab them real quick. Um, I had five blankets. So I did one um, that has all these cute little, I got to make sure I have the front, that's the back side. <clears throat> Anyways, the cute little animals on it and I just did it in some blue pink and yellow and then <clears throat> this one is just a single crochet and half double crochet around the edge so it's the blue and gray heart and so I just kind of did that edging on that one and then these two I just did a scalloped edge around so this is the pink and white heart one and I did a scalloped edge around that one and then the light gray and pink heart one the same thing and I just did the pink white and gray in there so I am going to flip the camera around show you how I did that and then I'll come back on when I'm completely done all right so I have everything I need here so I'll be using these colors a nice bright yellow and then spring green and these are red heart super saver yarns so I'm gonna set those aside I need a rotary cutter and I have the skippa um skip a blade I think that's what they call it um, added to my rotary cutter here I'm using a G hook which is 4.25 and then of course we have our um, receiving blanket from the Dollar Tree and this has got some cute frogs on it and a little turtle some stars and balloons and everything and then a ruler to help just kind of keep it somewhat straight when I'm making the cut and then I got my cutting board down here and let me just grab a pair of scissors so we can cut the little tags off the blanket here move my yarn out of the way so Look how cute those frogs are. Oh my gosh, they're cute. All right, so what I'm going to do, looks like it's pretty well even straight here. So I'm just going to lay my ruler on here and I'm going to leave, oh, about an inch or so. And that's where I'm going to be doing my cut. So I'm just going to hold the ruler down and then you just put blade and you just roll. And it just puts a nice little cut edge on there. So I'll just slide this down and finish out this side of the blanket. And then I'll do the other three sides off camera. And so then I just kind of look to see where my last hole was on the blanket there. And just kind of try to line up best I can with the ruler here. And then I will place the rotary cutter kind of right in that same hole if I can eyeball it make sure I get it right in that same spot and cut and then one last little swoop here get it all nice and lined up and the hole is right there All right, so I'm going to go all the way around the other four edges or three edges and get my holes in and then I'll come back and I'll show you how I start it. All right, so I have all of the edges cut and if you can see, let's see if I can get it in the white area, just kind of separate and then that's where the holes are. So I am going to start with, um, I believe the yellow yarn. And what I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to go all the way around and I'm going to do a single crochet. And then I'm going to do 
maybe another single crochet with the green and then I'll do a half I'm trying to think how I want to do this I think I want to put like a granny square edge around the blanket kind of like what I did on this one so I'm going to do two single crochets yellow and then green and then I'll do two single crochets yellow or scratch that two granny squares around so I'll do yellow green yellow green all right and I'm not gonna go all the way around all four edges on the camera I'll do maybe one edge and I'll kind of do a little bit as I'm doing it and then I'll speed up to the end and then I'll go around the other three off camera and then the round with the green and then when I get ready to do the granny um, stitch around then I'll do a little bit on camera and then I'll come back at the very end when I'm completely done so let me see where my end is pull off a bunch here all right <clears throat> so if you can tell they're both printed the same but this side is kind of more of a dull this has got more brighter so this is going to be the front side or the right side if you will of the blanket so I'm going to start with a slip stitch in the corner and then just for making my little knot on the end you wrap around fingers and then back around and through the middle and then just slip that's a slip knot so starting in the corner um, I will put my hook through and I'm looking to see kind of where that corner is in the um, of the sides so I'm gonna slip my hook right through and then where's my little slip knot I'm gonna put my slip knot on there pull it a little bit snug and then I'm just going to pull it through and then I'm going to wrap my yarn around my hook if I can get my fingers in here and just pull it through and then that's my slip knot so I got that in there I hold my hook different and my yarn different from how everybody else does theirs hold it however you're comfortable with this is how I do it so then we're going to go back in that same hole and I'm going to put four single crochet in the corner. So I'm just going to go in through and while I'm doing it, I'm going to put the tail underneath and kind of crochet that around, wrap around and I'm going to pull it back through and wrap around. Do that three more times. That way it's going to form my corner for when I'm doing my um, granny square stitch around it's three and here is the fourth one all right so I've got all of them in there and then I'm just going to go all the way around and you see where the holes are in here so I'm just going to put my yarn in make sure that tail is in there wrap around pull it through and you got your two loops on there wrap it around and pull it through and I'm just gonna do that all the way around and then this extra edge is just gonna fold down as we go and just kind of gives it a little ridge around the side I'm just wrapping around and then it's just given a nice little edge this first one you now I'm gonna back it up so I got my four in there and I just lost that one on there I want to put a chain between each of my stitches that just kind of gives it a little bit so it doesn't bunch up so I'm just going to put it in nope chain make a chain and then in single crochet chain and then in that hole tails in there wrap around 
and then a chain. And then just another chain. All right, so I am going to continue doing this all the way around the four sides and then it just kind of gives a nice little edge on there. So I am going to single crochet all the way around with the yellow, gonna do it with the green, then I will come back and then that's when I'm gonna start again with the yellow and I'm gonna start doing my granny granny stitch around to show you how I do that and then complete that and the green and then I'll come back at the very end do the last few stitches on here and show you the finished product so I will be back once I get my two single crochet edges around with the yellow and the green I'll be back okay so I have the two cro two rows of single crochet of the yellow and the green on here so we are going to start doing the granny stitch now i'm not going to start in the corner i'm going to move over and start a couple stitches over just so it doesn't get off kilter so i'm going to insert my hook into this chain here and then into my slip knot that i have i'm going to pull that through and get that attached there. So we're going to do half double crochets is what I'm going to do for my stitch around. So doing that, you just wrap your yarn around. I'm going to go back into that same one that I started. Wrap the yarn around, pull it back through and you've got three loops on your hook. Wrap around and we're just going to pull through all three of those. I'm going to do that two more times into that same stitch. Wrap around three on the hook and all through the three. One more time. And there we are. And then we're going to chain one. Gonna skip the next stitch and go into the next one. We're gonna do a half double crochet. So wrap your yarn around, pull it or put it through that stitch there, wrap around. Pull it through and you've got your three loops on your hook. Wrap around and all through the three and do that two more times. Oh, my yarn is splitting, there we go. One more. And there it is. So always remember to chain one between your clusters here and then skip a stitch and go into the next one and one more in there so you have three in and chain one so it just gives it let me pull a loop up here just your little things there so then when I come in with the green one I'm going to be doing my three clusters in between right here in these stitches so I'm going to go all the way around when I get to the corner I am going to and I'm not doing the three in the stitch I'm going to do two and then I'm going to chain two and then two half double crochets in each corner all right so I'm going to go around the yellow and the green when i get back around to the end last few clusters here i will come back on camera and we will finish it up and i'll show you the end product so i'll be back in a little bit all right so that is let me back up here so just the cute little edging on it all the way around <clears throat> just quick easy project to do and then you turn just a plain receiving blanket into something a little cuter um, so now I've got five of these on hand for any upcoming babies in the future, but 
so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed that quick little tutorial and i am in no means any way shape or form a crochet tutorial person i just show you how i do things so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you do please give me a thumbs up comment down below um, which edging if you like whether it's just the um the granny square one um the cute little scalloped edges on the the girly one if you will or just a plain plain edging but all right that's all i have for you guys i hope you guys enjoyed it remember to live a little laugh a lot and love always bye guys mm -hmm.